All right. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Let's make sure that we are on today. All right. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right. Very exciting. Another exciting episode, guys. Yeah. All right. Looking good. So, hey, my name is Chris. ChrisandGia.com. Back again with you guys with another very exciting episode today on this beautiful Monday morning. So, today's question is, what are your intentions truly, right? <laughs> so, before we get into it, guys, hey, my name is Chris. If you don't know me, I'm all about empowering entrepreneurs to be more, create more, and make more in their businesses online. And, man, I'm excited today. So, if you guys are new to the broadcast, right, so I'm here checking it out right now. Oh, yeah. Let's put the volume down here. And if you're new to my broadcast, hey, feel free to put on the comments new. N-E-W, new. If you're new, this is your first time seeing my broadcast because I have a special gift that I'm going to swoop through your way. I will definitely check you out on the, on the comments and personally respond to you and send you a free gift just for coming by for the first time. So, all right, guys. So, what are your true intentions, right? What are your intentions truly? This is a big one because... This one kind of knocked me over the, over the side of the face the other day, right? <laughs> and I really wanted to share it. So, your intentions, right? When, when we go about our day, we go about our business, we go about doing the things that we do, right? Our thoughts are paramount, right? And what, how we go about doing it and the results that we get, right? So, let me give you an example, all right? So, for example... You are in your business, right? You're in your business and you are talking, you have customers, you have prospects you're talking to, right? When you're talking to a customer, what is your intent? Your intent is, let's say maybe you're gonna get score sell, right? Or let's say maybe if you're in a home business, maybe they'll join you in your business, right? Let's say maybe you're an investor, maybe they'll invest with you, right? Right? So th that may be your intention, but what are your true intentions? Right, we will we'll say sometimes we'll say, well, you know, we're we're all about helping the customer, right? We're all about providing a need, and we're all about solving their problems and things like that, right? But is that your true intention? Because some of some folks out there, and, and I mean, I used to be this way too because I didn't know any better. We're out there and we are talking to customers and talking to prospects, but not with the true intention to help them. No, because on our minds, when we're talking to that prospect, our intent right there is to what? Make a sale, right? Sell them on something, right? Get them to join us in our business, right? I want to close this guy, right? Or he's going to put invest money in my business or something. That's what? Focused on me, right? Focused on your needs. And not necessarily the needs of the customer or that person you're talking to, right? Here's what I found is fascinating, and this is what I learned, is that your true intentions, whatever your true intentions are, is what you get, all right? That is what you get. Because if you're truly intent on trying to make a sale, then you end up not getting that sale because you're not really helping the client. You're not really helping your customer because you're really focused on making the sale for yourself. You're not really trying to help them, right? If you're truly focused on what can I do to help this? This is this is I'm telling you guys, this is money. This is this is magic right here, right? If you truly sit down and focus on, you know what, I really want to help this person. What are you struggling with? What can I do to help you? And you're truly focused on that. You're not even thinking about the fact that whether or not you're gonna get set or sell or not. If you're focused on that true intent of helping the customer and doing whatever it is you can, giving as much value as you can, even if you think that they should be paying for this, you know what? I'm giving true value. I'm going to help them as much as I can. You'll be surprised how the power of intention will reward you. This is magical, folks. I didn't really understand this until just recently. The power of intention is real. Let me give you another example. You're in your you're in your life, right? You want to let's say most people want to be rich, want to be successful, want to be wealthy. They want to be travel the world. They want to be financially free. This, that, and the third, right? But that's what they intend. But what are their true intentions? Most people's true intentions 
or they just want to be comfortable. They just want to have enough to pay the bills. They just want to have enough to be able to go a place here and there. You want to just want to have enough money just to live comfortably. And ladies and gentlemen, if your true intent is to just have enough money just to live comfortably, then you can never be wealthy, right? Because comfortable and wealthy and rich are not the same thing, right? One is rich <laughs> and the other one is not. It's just comfortable, <laughs> right? What are your true intentions? Because we may intend consciously that we want to be rich, but subconsciously, we're really saying we just want to be comfortable. And it reflects in our behavior. It reflects in our actions, right? Your ability to get the things done in your business. Your ability to take action on the things you know you should be doing. Your ability to, to be organized. Your ability to be disciplined. Your ability to stay hungry and stay persevering and stay motivated. is all plays on those subconscious true intentions that you have. Ah, Chris, that's mumbo jumbo, man. What are you talking about? Oh, really? I tell you what. If you're saying that, I hate to be mean, but you're probably not successful. <laughs> you're probably not making a whole lot of money in your business. You're probably struggling if you're thinking that. Because the truly successful people, the ones who are top earners, the ones who are really killing their business, that are really doing well, they know this to be true. And I've heard this. Every time I've heard this, it's been from someone who was absolutely successful. Right, you gotta listen to the people who've done it. Right, listen to the people who are truly successful, and no doubt about it, your intentions play a huge role in whether or not you're gonna reach your goals or not. So I challenge you. This is the challenge because I'm taking on that challenge too. Is to when you next time you talk to a customer, you talk to a prospect. Hey, you know what? Forget about whether or not they're gonna join you in your company. Whether or not they're gonna buy from you. Forget all that. Just focus on, does this person have a need? Find out if they have a need. Ask them questions if they have a need and just listen to them and see how you can help them. Don't even worry about the sell, right? And then start writing down your true intentions, what you really want, your goals, and really what you really want in your business and in your life. If you're not, write them down so that you can see them on a regular basis. Some people use them and just use them as affirmations, you know, they'd be like looking at it and just, hey, it's the regular looking at it that starts to seep into your con into the deeper parts of your mind and really helps to reinforce the fact that you truly want to be abundant, right? So those are nice quick tips. Hope that's useful. Hope that you liked it, right? Hope that was a good one. <laughs> so, hey, if you did, man, what I want you to do is click on the link below, right, or above. It's going to take you to a free PDF report that I got for you guys. 14 crazy effective tips that essentially will help you generate more leads on social media, even if you are brand new, right? So click on that link now. Put your name and email address in. I will send you that free report ASAP. So, till next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that was good. Till next time, be blessed and stay hungry out there. <laughs>